Hello and welcome back to Stranded Deep, welcome back to Pacific Paradise and welcome back to this and we find ourselves on last time we were on the other side of the island so if you're joining us for the first time yep we have a treehouse a mansion above the trees we are way way above the ground up here we also have the big giant ass harbor which has well there's a raft over there the, the big raft is actually on the other side of the island with the lighthouse we have a barbecue area with on the roof a bit of a great white thing going on yes a little bit of a dead shark he was a pain in the ass to get up there I can tell you that. Oh, and there's an aeroplane, and it's raining. Mmm, that's the way you want to start off a video. Hey, welcome to my tropical island. Have you seen the weather? It's raining. Oh, it's a storm as well. well. I do want to go down to the harbour, because there are some things I would like to work on. We've built the house. We've built under floor storage. We've built an area where we can just barbecue our pants off. We have the DC-3 up in the trees. And we have the lighthouse on the other side. Can we see that from here? Hmm, not into... Oh, yeah, yep, 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 just there. So we need to wait for it to get dark and then have a little look at uh, the lighthouse itself. It is 7.37 in the morning. It is the 6th of January. The reason it does a lot of stormy storminess is probably because it is winter in the game. I think we've worked that one out. I think we've worked that one out. So, uh, yeah, big old waves smashing in. The harbour is actually quite protected. Just by serendipity rather than putting a load of stuff in the in the sea. That doesn't stop stuff. Uh, that doesn't stop the waves. The waves will happen, whatever. I think I might want to take the sail off of this. I'm not entirely sure. It does act as a... I'm going to just turn it down because... Ooh, that is a bit loud in my ears. Yeah. So we added a raft piece uh, to cover the hole in the floor because we can't we can't add another floor section because of the cooked pine there. And I was like, well, maybe we could put a little bit of a little bit of a cloth awning on it. But I'm not I'm not still not sold on the cloth awning. Um, okay, so there are things that we need to do. First of all, we need to eat. Uh, do we have any food in my pants? Yes, cooked medium fish meat. Nom 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 nom. So that was from the barbecue. Nice. But we need to, do need to drink. Let's happily hop over here. I'm glad I made that because not making it means breaking our leg. We have we have broken our leg. It has just got fixed. So about a week of wearing a splint and your leg is okay again. Hippity hop up onto the back of the aeroplane. Mmm. It's good, isn't it? Just being in the South Pacific. I could sing a song, but I'm not going to uh, because we need to go and check out the lighthouse. I... Oh, bums. Hmm. I realise I just left all the materials that I actually need over there because there are some extra lanterns and things. We could do a little jump. We haven't jumped into the pool for a while. That is... We should always check if we're poisonous stuff, but... Well, let's just give it a go. Give it a hop. I'll explain it the best I can. We are currently stuck in a time loop that seems to have no end to it. We've been reliving the same period of time over and over again. The future doesn't exist in this world any longer. All time stops at September the 1st. And that's the reason why Miss Asahina can't travel back to the future. Huh. Hippity hop indeed. All right. So yeah, the lighthouse. We built a lighthouse. It is, there is, there is a little bit of a problem here. A little bit of problem. We're going to wait for the uh, wait for the sun to go down, and we're going to have a little look at it. Uh, oh, 173 days survived. Thank you. Giant ass raft. That's where you ended up. Uh, I don't think there's anything poisonous here, but I'm going to turn the torch on so we can see any purple poison starfish boys. Open the door. Now we do have to apologise. Um, oh, nice. Okay, so we we use raft sections to um, and half half floors essentially in order to make a staircase where we couldn't normally make stairs but it does mean it's a little bit glitchy as we go up so here's the thing uh, I do have to apologize if you're watching these as they go out and you were just like yeah, where is the uh, where's all the videos from uh, the weekend well I was away I was away and I was doing Halloween for the first time since I was eight it's not really a big thing in the UK more of an American holiday the whole trick-or-treat and candy and stuff so I got dressed up as a Ghostbuster with the blue uniform from the second film and I uh, I, I went and watched my sister's band play over in Bristol but the, something happened with the uploads and I was just like oh I can't really fix them on my laptop so you know sorry about that um, but anyway yeah we're here we're here so we built this last time we have one two three four 
four lanterns on this side. We put a fifth lantern over here. Now, there is something I did notice. These floor sections will light up when you get close. That requires you being quite close to the building in order to see the light. However, I have noticed that on the main island you can see pools of light. Not necessarily where the building is, you'll see little dots. So we've got some on the roof as well. So you'll see little dots of light. Um, but the pools of light where the light is reflecting off of something. So these boxes that we left in here last time, which don't really have too much stuff in it. Some have got a little bit of crap, some have not. Ooh, actually, I think I probably want that metal. Um, I'm going to grab that metal then. There we go. Cool. I have noticed these boxes do light up when you're quite far away. So what I'm thinking of doing, and I'll show you when it does actually get properly dark, is uh, building, building shelves around the outside so the lights actually have something to act on when we're further away. Ooh, but I'll show you that. I'll show you exactly how that works. Um, how do we get down from here? We can jump into an ocean where we can't actually see anything. That's terrifying. Or we could just walk down. Uh, we could break an ankle. Oh god, no. Oh, okay, that was... Uh, okay, yep, yep, that's something that happened. Okay, cool. So we have uh, a possible building project for that, but we're going to need more wood because I think we're kind of bingo on wood. So let's uh, let's have a little look around. We are going to have to do a little drink as well because we are, are very thirsty. I haven't filled these things up in ages. They just uh, fill up with the water that they get from the sky, which is nice. Are you still dead? Yeah, I'm still dead. Well, it does sound like the storm is easing. It is abating, which is nice. Good. Uh, we got some... Is that moved? Yeah, I think the plant is kind of not happy with it being uh, slightly sideways. Oh, we got some potatoes. So we'll pick the potatoes. Uh, they are all already rotten, I believe. Yeah, spore potato. Okay, fine. The, good. The sun is coming out. We've got a load of medicinal plants on the beach. I'm going to grab you because you can come with us. You can become dinner. Nice. Nice, 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 nice. So we have a few things that we need to be getting on with. I also wanted to look at the harbour because I'm thinking we can maybe extend the harbour. Maybe extend it sideways. So I'll drop you there. Uh, the metal and the potatoes we're going to take upstairs along with the dead crab. So the harbour. Oh, hello. I haven't seen this in a while. Stormers move things a little sideways. All right, that's not actually an issue. What we can do is jump here, grab you, and just kind of move you back a little bit. Drop you down. There we go. It's all fixed. It used to just flip all the way over until we added the uh, tire pontoons, but that's okay. Yeah, so what I was thinking is we could probably take some metal Put another piece there and just continue around the outside of this rack so we just have another uh, another line of harbour so we just extend the harbour a little bit that'd be kind of neat because oops, sploosh into the water yeah because that's actually flooring it's not uh, it's not base pieces it's not uh, foundation pieces so we can actually extend the floor quite uh, handily just above the water around the outside like the buffalo girls so that is something to think of but we need to get a bunch more metal where do you find the bunch more metal there is actually a little bit on the inside of the island so there's at least two more pieces on the inside of the island underneath the airplane oh yeah if you want to download the island and you are on PC you can absolutely do that uh, it is Hobbs Renown it is in the video description and there is instructions on how to uh, how to install it. We'll just copy it over to your folder. So there's one piece there and there's one there. We keep walking past these two pieces. Good, 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 good. But we do have a lot of stuff in my pants. So we're going to need to deal with that. Uh, time is 12.30, so another another few hours of in-game time. We'll take the gyrocopter out. Ooh, yeah, that'd be a good idea because we can... We need to fuel that up as well. So let's... Um, hmm... Oh, oh, I thought I dropped him off the edge. I did not. I did not, Huron. Cool. So the wingtip of the DC-3 is there. 
we will go to the barbecue area first and just drop this lad off. Yeah, I'm I'm thinking we do just chop that off and just have it as a table. Yeah, I, I'm thinking that's probably the best thing to do. Possibly. So a little duck through here. Also, I was wondering if we could actually just fit stairs in the lighthouse. I'm not entirely sure. Because the stairs seem to clip onto whatever the ground piece is. Can we build stairs on a triangle piece? That is... That is a question. Uh, do we have any metal in here? No, 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 no. No, no, no. But we do need to put potatoes in here, so we can one, two, three, and four. That's full. That's also full. So we'll take the fuel, suck that out. Uh, that is now 100%, because the roundel on the, on the fuel still doesn't actually go all the way up, but the can will always be full. Why? I do not know. I do not know. So we'll grab this. We'll light the fire. If you're on PC, you can put uh, certain certain crafting stations inside. If you're on console, I don't think that's don't think that's a possibility unless you kind of glitch it by spamming the place button while standing on a stairs. Apparently, so that's the thing. So that's all turning that into fuel. Excellent. What else do we have? Uh, gasoline. Okay, cool. Yep, we need to fill up the gyrocopter. The gyrocopter is on the landing pad. How much juice do you have? Oh, not too bad. But I will juice you up, and then I'll drop that down. Cool. So then we have metal. Okay, fine. I think there's some metal and some wood over here. We're going to need the wood, certainly. Yep, some metal and... Ah, more metal. Okay, so what I will do is I'll transfer that and that into there. So we could start on the harbour actually if we wanted to and we got some wood planks there. We're gonna need some more wood because I think we need to make more shelves and huh so it's three and we have at least four sections on the outside and the outside. We could go to another hmm mm, so we could go to another island. We do have a lot of containers that aren't really doing anything is that a fact? That is a fact. So what we could do... Yeah, see we got a pistol there. Why do we need that? Let's put it in there. Um, from you guys. You all in there. Which means we have an empty container. An empty container. And then a bunch of wood. So we can grab that. We can grab that. We can break them down. Yeah, and the container with four... So we would get... Maybe a couple of... Hmm. Maybe a couple of uh, of shelves out of that. Okay, so I'll drop you off the edge. Goodbye. Have fun. Bonk. It's just easier to do that. Uh, fuel is being made at the top. We could... Oh wait, actually we don't need to get the barbecue on. So I'll just put you around here with the other crab friend. You two can have fun together. Rubber ducky. Rubber ducky. Mwah. Good. Uh, the cocktail bar. Excellent. Oh, you know what? You know what? You know what? We've made quite a quite a nice place to live here. Oh yeah. Okay. Cool. So that was the other thing. Uh, if we. Oh, we can't. Can't grab that. Okay. Uh, what I'm gonna do is take these onto the roof because I want. I want to test the theory, and the roof is actually a good place for it. Cool, so we'll do a little jump up, because uh, what I want to see is if we can put stairs on a triangle piece. And this area of the roof, one, two, three, four, five, six, is the entire width of the lighthouse tower, which is over there. So I want to see if we could actually just put stairs on the inside. Now we've used rafts on the inside of the lighthouse because uh, because it's just a compact way of putting stairs in. So I'll put them down, and then I'll break them apart. Probably shouldn't put them on top of each other, but hey. So one, two, three. Oh, that wasn't three. That was a that was a box. I was like, where's the other box gone? I have I've vanished it. I have done the magic man thing. I have turned it into nothing. All right, grab a hammer. And then, nope, quick craft and stairs. Stairs. Oh, oh, it clips onto the, oh, look at that. 
it clips on to the very edge. So can we can we put it on the middle? Yeah. So we could actually put stairs inside the lighthouse. That might be a bit more of an efficient way of doing things. You'd have to kind of jump onto the stairs? Yeah, I, I think we could actually get away with putting stairs in the lighthouse. Hmm. Although that would go right where the door is. It might be might be worth... Uh, yeah. Yeah, they go on different different sides. They clip really weirdly as well. Okay, right. So, sure, yeah. It looks like we could put stairs inside the lighthouse instead of the rafts. That would be a bit more efficient. It would give us a bunch of extra wood. The downside is... Uh, well, the upside is there's two rafts per floor, which means that we would be able to move things around. The downside is we would need to move the internal floors around to make that work. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Let me think about that, because that would mean you could make quite a slender tower without using the rafts as uh, flooring. Fine, so we've got this stuff. I'm going to go down, down, down. We can go down, down, down. Oh, it's nearly... Oh, it's very late in the day. Good. Ex excellent. Because we need that. Because we need to go for a little flight at night. Because I need to show you what happens when the when the lanterns light things up. So I will put uh, you guys in there. Put you in there as well. Excellent. So you can come with me. We'll go and throw these into the lighthouse, I think. Uh, you okay, buddy? Yeah, I'm fine. Cool. Excellent. Everything is good good. Everything is okay. Good. So we'll just hippity hop over here. You might say, well, your island is full of wood. You could just chop a few trees down and get everything sorted. No? Um, I could, but I ain't going to. We don't chop the trees down on our, on our home island. Right. Okay. So what I could do is if we took this piece off here and put it here we could have a set of stairs that went up diagonally and then we could have a set of stairs that go up from that door up to there and then that would just lead us up to there that might actually work mm, that might actually work so we could save ourselves a bunch of sticks although we've already turned the logs into sticks so eh I don't know. We'd have to take out all of the rafts, though. Because the rafts cause uh, serious problems when you... Well... When you have them near uh, a building and you're trying to build something. The raft's area of influence is ginormous. It's huge. So what we can do is... Uh, I'll drop these on the outside. Nah. Uh, here? But, oh, that's it. That's, that's, I thought there was more, but yes, we broke all the boxes down. Good, man, the sun is going down on what was a beautiful day in paradise. I should probably get off of here before the sun actually goes down. Oh god, I... Okay, that was shallow enough that we didn't break anything. Yep, 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 yep. So yeah, the sun is going down. It is 17.55, so it was nearly 6 o'clock in the evening. Ooh, the sun goes down very quickly. Yeah, it does. Apparently, it really does on the equator. So if you're close to the equator, the sun just goes boop into the sea and disappears. Good. So we got the torch out. So it's in our hands and we know where it is. It is New Game Plus torch. If you do New Game Plus and you can do it on console and PC, uh, complete the game uh, Escape from Pacific Paradise at least once. And then when you start the new game, so you'll know if you've done it because you'd have to fought all the boss monsters. Uh, once you've done that, you will uh, you will be you have the option to do a new game with the extra uh, extra items. So you have to select extra items. You can't just start a new game. Okay, so the lighthouse is lit up. It is glowing, and as you can see, we can see everything. Okay, so I'm going to go and grab the gyrocopter. The copter de gyro as they don't say in France. Uh, we will hippity hop through here. DC3. Up in the trees. It's a little bit more spooky at night. We should probably have a... Oh, we should probably build a little fire pit down here and roast marshmallows. In the light of the moon. That'd be lovely. 
Uh, except marshmallows are not a thing you can get in the game. Although we could... We still need fruit. We don't have any farms with fruit on them. We get some kwawa and some kura. And then roast those on a note. Actually, no, you can't. We can roast um, potatoes. Potatoes? Potatoes. Boil and mash them. Stick them in a stew. Right, okay, cool. Let's get on this. And we will give her some gas and take off. So we can see everything because we put lanterns on our house. We put them in the tower. We put them down there on the harbour. But as we fly forward, you can see the harbour begin to light up. And if we look back at the house... Yeah, the house isn't really lit up. You can see the pinpoints of light. And what you can see is the influence on the trees... So anytime there's a tree and like the Great White is all lit up. But the harbour itself, if we go back across the harbour, very dark, very dark, very dark. And then as we get closer, the building pieces light up. So we can see anything that's in the environment normally is already lit up. But it's only when we get close that everything else lights up. So for a lighthouse, which is now over there, it's not actually that useful. So what we can see are tiny points of light, so we can see the sticks, and that's kind of it. And as we get closer, the boxes light up, so we can see the box that we put down on the outside is now lit up. The house, we can see the trees are lit up, but we can't really see that the house is lit up. We can see the lantern on the beach, because the beach is lit up, but the building itself doesn't, doesn't carry light. So these boxes on the outside, what I think we should probably do is as we get closer, then it all lights up. So as a lighthouse, it's not actually that useful. So if we put some shelves on the outside and put boxes on the shelves, I think what will happen is as we fly further away, can we fly backwards? Uh, probably. Yeah, as we fly further away, what will end up happening is we'll get the points of light from the... Uh, from the lanterns but then we'll also see the boxes themselves so the containers will be lit up if we put uh, if we put shelves on the outside I think that's what's going to happen because they're a physics object and the building isn't okay cool that's so that's an idea that's that's kind of the idea that I'm having right so what we should probably do is do a little save do a little sleep come back to the landing pad so yeah it's just a weird artifact that the buildings themselves don't carry light and the environment does. So if we were to put the lighthouse just lights on the beach, it would be much, much more efficient. I mean, it's fun to build. It's a fun little project. Cool. So we've got that. Food and water situation isn't too bad. Water's not great, but that's not an issue. Do a little duck under here. Uh, fuel is being made. Yep. So we'll just leave that to finish its cycle. And then what we will do is do a little save. And do a little sleep. And we wake up. And it is 6.45 in the morning. So we have one daylight lottery, which is excellent. Things that cook in the night do indeed finish cooking in the night, which is lovely. We've got a bunch of very poisonous fish here. But that's not what we need. Uh, can I get a salmon? A cod? It's a cod. Right, what we could do is put some cod steaks, uh, get some cod steaks on the go. Which is good. Uh, throw you down, because we don't have to munch the entire... Oh, do I have a knife with me? Yeah, I've got loads of knives. Hey, cod, have you ever did, have you ever wanted to be barbecue? I guess so. So grab, uh, grab barbecue. You up and over onto there. The nice thing about the hobo stove is that it cooks quite quickly. Well, it cooks these medium states quite quickly. So we've been able to kind of conserve a bit of fuel. Left and right, left right, left right. If you can't left right, left right, go into accessibility options and disable the left right, left right. There are accessibility options in the game. What is on here? Oh yeah, the carbon spear gun. I forget that we have it. There is a... So there is a thing. So this is New Game Plus with the carbon spear gun. It only takes, apparently, it only takes carbon uh, carbon fiber arrows in the console version. In the PC version, you can put any arrows in it, the ones you make. It is kind of useless if you only have the five carbon fiber arrows. I don't really know 
why the console version is is kind of messed up like that. It's a little bit strange. So we have the metal. Uh, we do need to eat. We do need to drink. So we're going to go down, have a little something to drink. Then I think what we'll do is see if we can. So we got four, eight. I think we need three, six, nine, twelve. Hmm. Okay. So we had a storm. So we'll do a little drink. Are we all the way up with the water? Yes, we are. Good. 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 Uh, can I move some stuff around? Yeah. Oh, well, sort of. Uh, I do know. There we go. That I have quite a lot of air tanks. I should really sort this stuff out because we have the containers. We have the containers to put stuff in, and I never use them. I just throw stuff down on the floor like a teenager's bedroom. It's like, where have you stored all your stuff? Stored it on the floor. Oh, all right. Uh, so what do we have? Four, eight. So nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Yeah, that should be enough. Okay, cool. Right. Good. So let's go and build some stuff on the lighthouse. I'll do it. I'll. I'll. I'll damn well do it. Oh, the barbecue. Barbecue, barbecue, barbecue. That doesn't take too long to cook. So we could probably have some breakfast. Ooh, breakfast. Should be nice. Is that. I'm looking out the window. You can't see out the window uh, from where I am. Oh, yeah, no, that's lightning. Cool. So we've had a bit of a, a storm. Uh, I went to Bristol. I went back via Bovington. I met uh, James and Chantel. Cosmic Guppy. Oh, we're uh, Cosmic Guppy of uh, Twitch. Um, and, 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 is that cooked yet? No? Yeah. And on the way back, torrential rain. Just absolutely torrential rain. Just like you would not believe. And it was torrential rain this morning as well. I was looking in the window and I was like, I, this is terrible. This is absolutely terrifying. And then, um, and then it all cleared up, but it's gone grey again, and I think that's lightning out there. Are you cooked yet? No. Ah. Oh, wait, it says medium. Wait, has that got the... If I flip it over... Nah. It's got the griddle patterns on it. Wait. Medium fish meat. Yeah, we can't eat that. But it's got the griddle pattern on it. What? Eh. Eh. Cook. Cook. Ah, oh, there we go. Now it's cooked. You just have to will it. No, 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 no. Okay, cool. We'll put the fire out by breathing on it, I guess. And then we'll go and do some work in the lighthouse because we need to... So we should have everything four, eight, twelve, three, six, nine, two. Yeah. Yep. Yep, 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 yep. Mass is not my strong suit. Never was. I have to do it on my fingers. And if you get beyond ten, you have to do it on your toes. I feel it on my fingers. I feel it on my toes. Yes. Do you have a scientific calculator? People are like, oh, you've got a scientific calculator on your phone. Yeah, I also have an actual physical scientific calculator because I just like having them. Uh, jump, and then jump. That didn't work. Yeah, I think we might try for stairs in here instead of these. It might be a little bit easier. Right, good. So, yes, we were up here and we saw that the, the boxes glow. Interestingly, the influence is not great. So, uh, what we're going to do is whip out the hammer. Aye, right. I want to build a shelf. It's three. Back up, back up. Back it up, back it in. Let me begin. Right. I'm going to push it as far back as I can. Well, it's kind of already clipping into the, the metal work. What we can do is bring this over. Uh, you can sort of... You can sort of... You could. I feel like a dog trying to take a stick through a doorway. Um, grab you. No, I just, I just, I just want to, I, why is quick, quick craft? It's just like, oh, I see you're trying to build a shelf. Let me help you by not allowing you to build a shelf. Quick craft, I, I swear, seriously. Um, okay. 
two, and then here's a shelf. That's not what I want. Oh, will it? Stairs, foundation. Hmm. Actually, can I just put all the wood in my pants? Yes, I can. Let's just get it all in there. Get it all in there. So one, two, three. Oh, we only need three. And there was four up here for some reason. Okay, cool. Um, regular craft, crafting. Yep, 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 yep. Everyone's inspecting me to walk backwards off the edge. I mean, we are very close to walking backwards off the edge. It's going to be sad. Cool. So I I'll just put this there then. Okay, cool. Uh, and I'll put that there. So hopefully, by putting these on the outside, what will happen is that the uh, is the light will have influence over the boxes because they're physics objects, and then we'll be able to see the tower from further away. That's the idea. So that's the idea of putting them on the outside. And ironically forcing us to be tidy and creating storage. No, I'm going to not fill these all the way up because I, mm, I'm i not entirely sure you can fill them all the way up. I've got a walking stick. Oh no, it's a laying stick. Cool. A sleeping stick. Excellent, excellent, excellent. So that should now take the light from the lanterns and actually just light these pieces up. Good. Well, that's theory. Anyway, uh, what about the roof? Hmm, not entirely sure. But whatever. Good. Uh, what is out there? Is that just a rock? I think that's just a rock. I mean, 1147, 1148. I don't think there's anything in particular. What is that? Oh, it's not a rock. It's a giant grouper. Right, okay. I'll just go and sit here. There's nothing, like, dangerous on this island. But the closer you get to the deep water things can spawn, so I'm just not... Oh, poisonous poisonous fish. I'm not encouraging things to come and nibble my bum. Good. Excellent. Yeah, I think next uh, next up, maybe we do get rid of the rafts and maybe just put uh, stairs up on the inside. I think that's probably a good idea. It might actually be something I need to try between episodes, just because of how fiddly it is. And then I'll show you if it actually works. Good. So lighthouse, even more refined as we learn about the uh, about the way the game works. Hopefully, that's going to allow us to see it from a lot further away. Hopefully, uh, or at least see something from a lot further away. We know we can see stuff on the other side of the island, and now we can see stuff on this side of the island. It even even if we can't see it at night, just its presence alone acts as a giant beacon. So we can tell our island, because as, as we go further away, we should be able to see it from, from across the water. You know what? Why don't we grab the gyrocopter and actually just see? I was just like, I'm about to wrap up the episode, but no, I just want to see actually what it looks like. And the fastest way there is the gyrocopter. I know people don't like uh, watching the gyrocopter do its thing. They're just like, who is just flying across the water it's kind of you know you're not even getting attacked by sharks what is going on but yeah I think it's uh, I think it's a useful tool sometimes it's useful for scanning things out it's also useful for uh, useful for oh we've gone up too too high um, useful for doing stuff like this so we'll jump in back it up back it in let me begin whoops a little bit too far forward that's okay Barber's looking nice. House is looking nice. Barbecue area is looking nice. It's all looking rather nice. And then we got this. So what we'll do is we'll fly to the other right. It's looking a bit... Yeah, as we sort of go further away, it becomes low poly. Although, the, interestingly, the crates don't. The crates don't seem to change. Okay. Let's drop her down, drop her down. Go a little bit lower to the water. Why not? Ah, uh, the ocean blue. It's nice to be above it. All the way above it. Fuel is not too bad. I don't have another can, so if we do get stuck, we'll have to swim back. Don't fancy like doing that. Oh. Oh, it's a storm. I was like, what is going on? 
this is a storm? Yeah, the colour is desaturating very quickly. Okay. Oh, that'd be interesting. Can we can we just can we see it from here? Yeah. Oh god. What I wanted to do was see it on a bright sunny day and say that's my home island, that is. Oh jeez. It really is getting grayscale. Wow. Alright. That's that's the thing that's happening. I'm gonna, gonna put it down and see if we can identify the island in a storm, I guess. Is this, it's just a rainstorm, isn't it? Yeah. Uh, well, yeah, we can make out the tower. Well, I can make out the base of the tower, and I can make out the top of the house. If I put it to the side of the screen, yeah, you can see it. It's there. It's unmistakably our island. Unfortunately, it's a rainstorm. It's not actually a storm storm. So the, 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 uh, the, there's no lightning and no big old waves. But it is wet. Oh, it's a shame. It will fill our water stills if we go back to the island. Anyway, so I will leave it there for the time being. If you like this, definitely leave a little like, leave a subscribe. Uh, if you do subscribe, click the little bell. You can give you notifications when videos go live. Unless you don't want notifications, but you do want to be subscribed, in which case, subscribe and don't click the bell. You are your own person, and I'll tell you what. I'll catch you next time. <laughs>